Hey, 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 it's Del from Let's Get Inky and today we're making DIY embellishments, which is one of my favourite things to do. So for this little project, you need some sort of cardstock. I would go with white and thick if possible. You need some shaving cream and make sure it's the foamy one and not a gel. Some sort of gift card or piece of card to swipe your shaving cream around. Uh, something to swirl your colours. So maybe a spatula or a, a skewer or end of a paintbrush, something like that. And some acrylic paint. Now I used some really cheap acrylic paint it doesn't have to be fancy it's better if it's not fancy because you will waste some uh, and you also need some sort of dish to put everything in so I'm just using one of these uh, toss away silver metal baking trays so the first thing to do is to spray the shaving cream into your container. I have sped this bit up quite a lot because it's a bit repetitive. And so you spray your shaving cream in, you use a gift card or some sort of flat surface to smush that all around and make it even. Then it's time to get your acrylic paints. Think about what colors you're using when you are doing this so that you don't have clashing colors. I did one of them that was a bit too clashy. I'll show you which one it is in a moment. Um, I'm just splurting the paint. That's Is that the verb to use? I guess so. Splurting the paint around. I have already filmed a video for Patreon last month. Was it last month or the... Yeah, I think it was last month or the month before uh, where I used the same technique to actually do a large MDF wooden um, quill for Inky Quill. I'm using the end of my spatula to swirl my paint around and making a marbled effect. And then very, very gently, I'm going to put a piece of cardstock in. Now, fair warning, this does smell like shaving cream it's you can't escape the shaving cream smell so if you're not a fan of that smell don't try this project now you will pull it out and it will look all peaked and fluffy and that's okay because we're going to use our gift card in a moment to scrape away the excess shaving cream so I'm grabbing a couple of pieces of scrap paper just to put underneath because it does get quite messy and I'm just scraping that off and look at the marbling. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. And so I'm just scraping that all off just nice and carefully and voila, there's our first card and now I'm doing it to the other one. Now this one, I didn't actually get too much of the color. I got a lot of the pale section so it didn't work out as well um, but that's part of the fun with this project you don't always you can't always predict and it's the same with um, modeling uh, any sort of mixed media I guess you don't always know what you're going to get now here I decided to try something and I scraped off uh, some of the extra let's call them scrapings into my art journal and this first one turned out quite pretty. It's kind of like a, a unicorn. It's very pink and summery and pretty. The next two did not turn out as nice. And I will admit those pages are no more in my art journal. I have since covered them up because they were just, oh, well, you'll see one of them. I don't know why I thought it'd be a good idea was purple on top of craft cardstock never a good idea to mix those two colors together so you don't have to do this i'm just using up some of the excess uh, paint so i don't waste it so then you want to repeat the same process for all oh, actually okay so apparently i'm making a scrapbook page background as well i i'm doing this because the shaving cream that i've got here on the side that i wiped off the top of those two little cards that we just did is it's too I guess painty to put back into the marbled um, large set on the bottom because you've already smushed that paint around the paint colors have mixed together and it's lost that marbled effect that is what we're what we're trying to get so I just wipe some on a uh, scrapbooking layout and we'll see if I use that in the future uh, definitely don't know about the archival quality of this but that's not a priority to me personally in my scrapbooking 
then I'm going through and I've got my shaving cream and I've smooshed it flat again and you really want it to be flat because otherwise if you if it's too lumpy and bumpy then when you put your small piece of cardstock on top the paint won't actually hit all of the pieces of your cardstock you'll have empty areas and you, you don't want that here don't know why I thought it was a good idea to mix orange and purple don't do this it clashed a little bit um, I would stick to either the same color families or um, similar colors that are next to each other on the color wheel have a little play around and the good thing is if you use cheap paint it doesn't feel you don't feel like you're wasting too many supplies I'm sure I think some of these paints were hand-me-downs some of them were leftovers that I used uh, at school I think so there's they're not great paints at all definitely don't use good ones so then this step you've got to be careful that you don't over swirl it so I'm just kind of swirling it around and making sure there's no bits that are a bit too blobby um, this one didn't turn out too bad but it was just that that pale corally orange color kind of just I don't know it didn't look great then I decided to try something and I grabbed my gold alcohol ink just just for giggles just to see what happens I'm pressing in my cardstock and you can see this cardstock's quite thin so the liquid uh, it did get quite wet on the back of it and then I'm using some basil marshmallow cardstock this is the one that I should have gone Adele it looks a little bit poo brown we're not going to do that one we're going to mix up some new colors but I didn't so then there comes a point when you have to call it and you have to say okay it's time for some new shaving cream it would have been a good time to do that then um, if you're someone who is very worried about wastage of products um, this might not be a good technique for you and I, I just look at it in that when when you use shaving cream to shave your legs or for its intended purpose it's a product that does get a little bit wasted anyway so I I think it's all right that you waste a tiny little bit of it and you're not wasting it's going towards a purpose and it's a carrier for the paint so then I got my gift card again I'm giving it a good clean so that it's doesn't affect any it doesn't put any extra paint colors on top and I'm just wiping it off now this you do get very messy with the paper towels <laughs> so make sure it would be very good to have some paper towels and some baby wipes close by so once again I'm just wiping this one off and you can see the purple color is really really bright it matches well with those fluoro paints and then mm, I decide to do this I turn to the craft page which is a is a color cardstock that I struggle with anyway and it looks all right for a moment but then it Oh, it just didn't work out very well it did not work out very well so I wouldn't recommend rubbing this into your art journal if uh, if you're not a fan of covering things up if they don't work <laughs> but we all we all have our little arty disasters and the reason well, look at that that's not pretty um, the reason why I decided to keep it in was to show you that not everything works out and I'm here to help you guys figure out the failures before you have a go to minimize your risk of failing at things so then I'm wiping off this one this one turned out a bit paler and I quite like this one and now it's time to have another go I've cleaned out that shaving cream and I'm just having a go you don't need much you only need a, enough to just basically cover the size of the card that you've got as always as last time just smooth that out before you add the paint with your gift card or your piece of um, cardboard and then it's time to add the paint colors I this was the first apart from the patreon video that I filmed which was all using blue colors this was the first multicolored one I had done so I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out exactly um, I it was a, a bit of an experiment but they're the they're the best ones I think 
So I'm adding some, that beautiful hot pink color was really, really pretty. Um, and adding a little bit of blue for something a little bit different. So I'm swirling that around with my little spatula tool and you can see right away which colors overtake the rest of them. The pink is definitely a color that overtakes the rest and kind of get, calls for some attention, I guess. It's a, a bit of an attention grabbing color. So keep that in mind when you do mix your colors that you keep your ratios the same or maybe keep the lighter colors to larger quantities of paint and then those colors that are going to demand a bit more attention like red pink black definitely um, maybe keep those to a a bit of a minimum or a smaller amount swirling through some more paint here and this is the last card that I'm doing for now and I'm going to wipe those off and it's time to start punching so I did do a little bit of this next step off camera. Um, if you do want any DIY embellishment videos, I have a lot over on my Patreon and most of my DIY embellishments go for 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, a lot of them are real time and they're fun to, I've got tags and embellishment clusters and all sorts of things over there. If you'd like to have a bit of background videos to keep you company while you're making embellishments. So this one, of course, it looks a bit, mm, that color, mm, yeah, it's not the best color. It's better than the purple, but it's still not great. And that's what happens when you mix too many colors together. You kind of end up with a bit of a, a brownie tone to things. So this page has since been covered up, um, but I'm gonna try and work with that first one. We'll, we'll see what I can make. I might do a, a process video if I can remember to make one uh, and see how it goes. Then I thought, oh, I'm going to just make things even better and try and do it in my use it up journal. If you're new to my channel, this is my use it up journal where I use lots of um, extra paint. And if I use stencils, I like to do double and put some in here as well. And so this one turned out the best. This one was probably my, my favorite um, card the pink really really popped and I think next time I would stick to pinks and reds and blues I think I brought in too many colors that I wasn't always comfortable with like the uh, the purple is a color that I don't actually use a lot and orange if you watch my main channel inky quill you'll know orange is a color that i struggle with a lot um, and here i'm just trying to soak up some of that extra paint really and just trying to to use it up like i said they do smell like shaving cream so keep that in mind if you're not a fan do not put it in your book where it's stuck there um, just go on to cardstock and then if you if you don't like the smell for any reason then you can just get rid of it so now it's time to have a look at my papers and figure out which ones I'm going to use. And so I didn't end up using them all because what happens with DIY embellishments is that you end up with so many. Um, so here's a bit of a close up look at all of the papers. I really, really love that aqua, that, not aqua, sorry, that really light turquoise color. The hot pink looked beautiful on some of them. The purples are a little bit harder. And then I actually just painted these last three papers just with plain paint. Uh, and those two blue ones are from my Patreon video that I filmed previously. So now it's time to grab some punches. And I stuck to basic shapes, circles, stars, hearts, they're my favorites. And I just punched out a whole lot of shapes. I had a variety of large ones, middle-sized ones, small ones. And then all I did was staple them together. And I love how they look. I've already used quite a few of them uh, in my projects. They're great for traveler's notebooks. They're great for project life, particularly, or scrapbooking. They're, they were really fun to make. And I added those little dash lines just with a black pen. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was, a, it was more so to show you the technique. Uh, and then it's very easy to just make little clusters of these bits and pieces. 
but I absolutely love them. Let me know in the comments if you try to make this technique yourself, um, but you'll definitely see these popping up in my videos in the future. Thanks so much for joining today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and let me know if you'd like to see some more DIY embellishment videos as well. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a lovely, arty, crafty week. Bye.